while everything else may pivot, please don't pivot your culture. I've seen companies who try to do that. It does not work. In fact, it's one of the challenges that happens when, for example, you do acquisitions. We did 17 of them in a space of about three or four years at Symantec, and they were always challenging, not because of the execution, not because of the product, but because of merging the various different cultures together. I have a special guest with me tonight who is um, actually the very first sales guy I ever hired when setting up Symantec over in the UK, um, and that is a, a gentleman called Steve Abbott. So Steve, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love you to come up and take the microphone for me, and uh, just tell me, what was it like when we acquired Pete and Norton? Did we have any challenges with the culture? Was the uh, sales force any different? What were some of the things that may have come out for us? Um, the culture was a clash. Uh, a, because we were in a completely different marketplace. B, because they were dominant in their particular area. We hadn't proved, proved anything in reality, but they were the, the tech leaders, so we were kind of asking them to follow us, where in actual fact it should have been the other way around. So that's always tricky. Um, their people were first class. We were still learning. We didn't know which marketplace we were in. They did. So it was really tough to bring them with us when in actual fact they felt that they would, should have been leading us. So that was a clash. We eventually got over it when we actually merged the vision. Um, but that took some time. And in the mean meantime, it was very uh, difficult day to day to work with them. Even though they were nice people, they worked very hard. They weren't us. So that was always an issue that we had to uh, overcome. And uh, putting a mixture of people in play and pretending to put in work groups to organize systems and policies and so on is, is, is great, but that's not where the rubber hits the road. And so it's all about people integration. So we tried to cross-pollinate as often as we could. We picked the best people and asked them to lead. And that's what they did, and that's how we were able to achieve it. And then the results we had from that was phenomenal and allowed us to make more and more acquisitions downstream. For those of you who don't know the story, Symantec was not a big company back then. It was, I don't think we'd even broken $50 million. But that acquisition uh, of Norton brought with it some of the most important things that actually propelled our company. But all the technology was not the challenge. It's everything that Steve just shared with you. And if we had had exactly the same culture, which would be extremely unlikely, it would have been easy. Uh, but as Steve said, what it really came down to was trying to integrate the people and get everybody on the same page. And what we ended up doing was actually defining a new and joint vision, which was instead of talking about things like you know, how you would use Norton Utilities to maintain your PC, we talked about data security. And that became actually the driving force. And we decided, I think, at the time to put a couple of other competitors out of business. And so we really declared a war outside the company, which was a single driving force for everybody to get on instead of worrying about what the things were that were holding them up internally. So this is how important it is uh, to do it, that the following year, and I remember the numbers very well. We blew through 100 million and got public, and we never looked back. And that was because we figured out how to, to deal with this. So even though your story may not feel like it's that big or dealing with that scale, it's exactly the same set of principles. Thank you, Steve.